Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort Marina, Lake Tenny Como. We're going to do one cast today. It's the last day of July, Monday, 31st. And Jackson and I have been out for the last probably hour and a half uh, fishing. They're running three units. They bumped it back just a little bit, so it's not quite as heavy. So maybe a little less than three units, but still quite a bit of current. And I went up to the Narrows. Um, a little shore of the Narrows and started there and caught a couple of really nice pretty rainbows on a on a sculpin jig eighth ounce with an orange head. Uh, the first one has beautiful beautiful colors. Um, should have uh, took some really good pictures of it but I didn't have my camera. But I got it on video and I caught another one that was a little bigger but and it was pretty too. Uh, had a lot of red in it. And um, that was the last fish I caught until I got almost down to Trout Hollow. So, and then I ended up catching about a dozen rainbows uh, on that far bank across from Trout Hollow down that slack water. And then I fished the bluff here for a little bit and uh, caught one and had some bites. There's the resort. Give you an idea where I'm at. I've had a few bites on this uh, bank. I'm using a sculpin jig, eighth ounce, sculpin color jig, it's what it is. The brown head, four pound line. And um, the fish have not been every place, right, Jackson? The ones I found have been pretty decent. I think Jackson's ready to go in. So I thought I'd throw over here for one cast. The fish have kind of been in the eddies. Um, like if you see that tree in the water up here, it's kind of creating an eddy down below it. Uh, just a little bit slower water, and that's where I found a lot of the fish. And across from Trout Hollow, there's a big eddy and uh, there's a lot of fish in there. I'm gonna try it. Water's really not that fast. Down here, it's a little faster up, up top. Once you get out away from the bank and the current, you want to get it real close to the bottom. Lost a few jigs. The bites have been, um, sometimes they're pretty hard and sometimes just the line goes slack and sometimes I just jig up and he's there. There's a eddy right in there. No fish on one cast. Again. Oh, did I throw it up in that tree branch? Yes, Dwayne, I'm fishing for squirrels. Meant to pull it right underneath it. Dwayne and Mona Sharia's wife are fishing up on Table Rock this evening. Dwayne's trying to catch some walleye. Maybe he'll write a little report for a comment when he watches this tonight. Water's pretty deep over here, so it's, you know, 12, 13 feet. I'm working it pretty slow, not reeling a lot, just jigging, watching the line. Oh, I see a stick under there. Surprised I didn't catch it. I've had a few follows, not a lot. Um, it's where the fish will chase the jig. 
all the way to the boat when I'm reeling in fast to throw back out. I was hoping to catch some browns. Not sure if that was a bite or not. Right now I'm hoping to catch a brown. Just one would be nice. A little confused about the browns. They're catching them on bait in this area. And in the past, June and July is, is, has been our best months to catch browns down in this area on jigs, but I've not been able to connect this summer. At the Fly Expo last week, um, Friday, Shane Bush, who's our fishery biologist uh, for Table Rock and Taney Como, works for Missouri Department of Conservation. Um, and Clint Hale, who's the manager of the Shepherd Hills Hatchery here, that uh, raised rainbows and browns for our lake and other cold water fisheries in Missouri talking to Shane, and uh, both Shane and Clint said that, um, you know, we have a, a brown run. The browns in this lake will run to the upper end of the lake to attempt to spawn. Of course, there, there is no natural reproduction uh, because of water temp and speed and lots of factors anyhow on this lake. So, but they do make a run to the top and that's when I normally will harvest um, the adult browns with eggs and sperm for their uh, for the hatchery. And um, he said our water is pretty warm, too warm probably for the browns to move up this year. So they're not looking for a big, uh, a very big run this fall. Uh, it's going to be a little pretty disappointing to a lot of people. But, he could be wrong too. There'll be some browns move up for sure, but this warmer water, warmer than normal because of the flood in May, uh, probably not gonna see the browns we would normally see. Normally the water temp is gonna be in the upper 40s, low 50s. And right now it's 57, and it's probably going to go a little higher this fall. Oh, there was a fish. This is about where Dwayne and, and um, Ryan did one cast the other day. So maybe I can catch Ryan's fish he caught the other day. Probably not. One more cast. It is so nice. No fog, no humidity. Well, very little humidity. Nice and cool. Got up to about 85 today. This has really been a nice summer. Who cares if a fish bite? It actually doesn't care, do you? Okay, that's a long one cast. No fish. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.